What are your thoughts? Um, if, if I am to go the political route as far as that is concerned, home drums still beat first. Because if you're not known in St. John, it is as if you never lived in St. John. So home <laughs> drums still beat first, my brother. What are the feedbacks that you're getting from your constituents? Um, the, the, the support is overwhelming. You know, the support is overwhelming. I have been on the ground, my team has been on the ground. And to date, it is like, you know, we have seen what you would have done in, the, on, in, in St. John, so we're with you again. So what are some of the challenges that you see with this campaign? What, some of the challenges? Yeah, that you're seeing now. Um, I, the, the only challenge that I see is that I probably don't have enough room for the canvassers that are coming. And that is a good problem to have. <laughs> So there, there are no problems that I'm seeing right now in the landscape of St. John, none. You expect to be in by a wider margin this time around, or you figure that out? Um, I, I'm, I'm walking with guided steps. The Father is with me every step of the way. And at the end of the day, I mean, like I said, when the people see what is happening, they will determine if they want to stay the course or if they want to change. So I'm not going to predict the margins now. I'm saying that I'm quietly confident, but I'm not going to predict, predict margins. Well, the process went smooth. Um, I'm actually and truly humbled to be part of a government that would have seen three and a half years of no mercy. We had to genuflect to, uh, you know, Mother Nature. We had to bow to the pandemic, but we are still here. Um, this is the second phase of a journey that will ensure that St. John continue to rise. Um, like I said, my government would have had to deal with several, several issues in the last three and a half years more than any government on the landscape in Barbados, but we did what we were supposed to do. We have a Prime Minister that is not only speaking on the behalf of Barbados, but all of the small island developing states and even beyond that. So when you look at that, I'm very, very pleased and humbled to be part of the process today at Law School. And you can see that the support is there because they would have seen what is happening in the constituency of St. John. And this second term, God's willing, will help us to continue to step a little further into that.